Guys, we have to pull on this thing to start this engine. Why does it have two servos? What is this white thing over here? How's it guys and welcome back to the channel. As you've seen from the video title and the intro, today I'll be unboxing my first Nitro RC. I'm a total Nitro noob, so look out for future videos and come with me as I take the plunge into the Nitro world. Full disclosure, I bought this buggy secondhand from Facebook Marketplace based off photos and pics of the car and what the seller told me. Let's see if the seller was spot on with the assessment of the car. Let's get the car unboxed and have a look at it. There she is guys. Personally, I bought secondhand because I'm a person who learns more if something is wrong and trying to fix it. If there are small niggles, I learn faster the hard way. And I also didn't want to spend a lot of money on a nitro straight out of the gate. You know, in case I don't like it, but I'm sure I like it once the car's running. Alright, so I used my own advice when buying secondhand. So let's look at the chassis underneath and see if I can see any damage. Hmm, chassis looks nice and clean. Only one little scuff mark I can see. This basically tells me the car didn't work really hard. The seller did mention that the car is almost brand new. I guess this is an old car, but uh, yeah, so far so good. So let's take a look under the hood. Let's have a look at all the metal bits on the car, see if I can see any rust on them. Right is a bit dirty, fuel tank's a bit dirty. Steering servo, throttle and brake servo. Right, the car's a bit dirty. Well, not that much, but I mean something that can be remedied easily. Shocks still look in good condition. So my one tip to buyers when buying second hand is always to ask the seller to send you a video of the car running. Unfortunately, the seller couldn't send me a video of the car running as he was working away from home, but he assured me the car's in good running condition. Was I stupid to oversee this critical part of buying a second hand car? Time will tell. I also can't see any broken or cracked parts on the car. Seems the seller was truthful enough and the car looks in great nick. Now, as I said, I'm a total nitro noob, so everyone tells me to check if the engine turns over. Well, let's see how this new pulls on a full start. Compression seems good, is what everyone always says. I think this is good compression on a nitro engine. Sounds good to me. Sadly, I don't have any fuel or a glow plug igniter to try and start it. I'll be ordering these soon. Keep a lookout for that video if you want to see a complete noob trying to start a Nitro RC for the first time. And guys, if you want to buy second hand like what I did here, link down in the description again for a video on my tips on how to buy second hand RC cars. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos on this Nitro RC.